Democratic legislators in Indiana have been boycotting that vote off and on, pushing the vote closer and closer to game time, long enough for the country to see these protests. Well, today, finally, the Indiana legislature finished passing this bill. Today, he signed it right away, almost as if he was in some kind of a hurry. And thousands, thousands of union protesters took their case exactly where Governor Daniels feared they would take it and where he knew they would take it. They marched into the heart of Indianapolis's Super Bowl village. Joining us now is Indiana State Legislator Scott Pila, the Assistant Democratic Leader in the House. Uh, Mr. Pila, thanks very much for being back with us. Hey, good to be back, Rachel. Did, did you expect the kind of outpouring we saw today with these thousands of protesters marching <laughs> to Lucas Stadium? I mean, the you aerial shots are intense. You, you better believe it. This weekend, uh, when the Super Bowl comes to Indianapolis, obviously the Super Bowl sort of already come to Indianapolis. The Super Bowl Village was the mm -hmm. site of the protest today. You can see that the city is already uh, really organized and really filling up in terms of this huge spectacle. Do you expect that when people tune in to watch the Super Bowl or when people are in the city uh, to participate in the festivities, they are going to be aware of what's going on in Indianapolis? Is there going to be some effort to, to either protest or let people know what the concerns are? Well, let's remember we got two union teams playing each other in a stadium built by union workers in Indianapolis. Uh, there's going to be some education going on. Uh, we may have had the setback in Indiana, but it's much, much bigger than that. This uh, national platform has to be used to let the rest of the country know, because guess what? The Speaker of the House in Indiana already is bragging that he's had uh, guys from other states calling him, wanting to know how you cram through this right to work. We're already hearing calls from Michigan. Remember the old domino theory, Rachel? Uh, we could see it start to uh, happen in the Rust Belt.